LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, so with this video, you're going to learn how to install your keys onto your keyboard. And we're going to determine the position on the metal plates that are on the keyboard. So we're going to do the K. And um, you can see that at the bottom here, there's one single large hook. And at the top corners, there's two smaller hooks. So that's where you're going to put the hinges on which are these and the position for the hinges is determined by the metal hooks that are on the keyboard so we're going to determine the position for this large piece first and you can see that at the top it has two large pins coming out of the corners and two smaller ones at the bottom now I say top and bottom because the uh, the small pins have to go wherever the large hook is in this case it's at the bottom so we're going to put the small pins at the bottom if that large hook were to be at the top flip this over like that but in this case it's at the bottom so that's the right position for it next we need to determine whether to put it upside down or this way by feeling the bottom or feeling the uh, vertical bars here. If you feel it has a bump in the middle that faces and touches the keyboard. If you feel it's smooth from top to bottom it faces away from the keyboard. So that's the right position for the large piece. Put it down for now in the right position so you don't get confused later. And get the next piece which is this and this has two pins at the top and two pins in the middle that are the middle ones are going to click into the holes that are in the middle of the large piece there and now this uh, small bar here is going to go underneath the large hook now make sure not to put this piece upside down as well by feeling the top bar if you feel it's one smooth piece from side to side that faces away from the keyboard and if you see or feel a, a thinning gap in the middle that touches the keyboard so now you know the position for both pieces what you want to do is put the small piece over the large piece like this and put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the bottom bar of the large piece but at the same time we're going to insert the left pin into the left hole on the large piece so it's kind of uh, two movements at the same time type of thing so once you have the left pin onto the left hole and the bottom bar underneath the bottom bar the large piece you hold those in place hold them really tightly so it doesn't come back out now we need to get this a uh, right pin onto the right hole and there's not enough space so we have to separate both pieces uh, just pull the large piece away from the small piece like that in order for the pin to have enough space to go in it now both pieces are one we're going to put the bottom bar of the small piece underneath the large hook once you have that in place hold it down hold it in place and we need to get to the top pins underneath the top hooks so we kind of need to slide or stretch the hinges upward in order for the pins to go around and under those metal hooks that are on the keyboard 
There you go. Once you have that, you just need to put your key right in the middle and push down evenly on all four sides. And that's it for the regular size key. Now we're going to go on to the large uh, enter key. So basically, it's the same procedure. Only thing that changes is the scale. Uh, it, the hinges are a tiny bit bigger, and the the key cap itself changes also because there's a metal wire behind the uh, key cap. So this is the section for the enter key. And um, looking at the first half of this video, we're going to assume you already have the hinges in there. And this is the key cap with the wire. So if you flip over the key cap this way, make sure not to flip it over this way to create confusion. So flip it over that way and you can see that it has fittings on the back. Uh, the fittings that are at the very, very top are the ones that are going to grab onto this metal wire. So just put the wire right in the middle of the very top fittings then put your key in the right position and open up the wire like this. Now we're going to flip the keycap over that way so we can see the wire and there's two fittings for the wires, one at the very left and one at the very right. So insert the wires right through those and just lay your keycap down onto the hinges and click it. Same thing for the space bar. The space bar has the um, wires in this position. You can see that this is the top side of it because it's cut square at the top and it has an angle at the bottom. So this is the right position for the wires. Uh, you can copy off this video. Then just put your key in this the right position and it's the uh, same thing. You flip your over your key over this way so you can look at the fittings on the keyboard itself. It's this one, the very left and right. So you just put the wire right in those uh, fittings. Then you turn your key over and you click it onto the hinges. There LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice. When trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard.